What changed over the last couple of days, and why was this targeting rule now going to be in force? Well, you know, I think the biggest thing, Kirk, is there was just confusion over the way the rules had been enforced. And then there were a handful of ugly plays last year that, and look, the league reacts to things, right? Like something happens, and the league, at least this regime, has, has shown to be reactionary. And you know, whether it's the Danny Trevathan hit, right. the Ryan Shazier hit, um, there are just have been hits that have, you know, I think gave, given the league two, three days of bad press in the aftermath, and we know how important PR is to this group of people that's leading the league right now. And, you know, I, I think a big part of this is that, is how do we find a way to get that, like get, get these ugly days off the calendar? And, you know, I know the, co- the coaches that were sitting in there this morning watched the Shazier hit. They watched the Shervathan hit. But there were only about 10 plays last year total. I'm talking about across the league, not 10 right. plays per team, 10, 10 plays against across the league total uh, that would have caused ejections last year. So you're not going to see these, you know, five times every Sunday. You know, it's I, the hope is at least if things don't change, that it'll be a once in a while thing and you'll see less and less of it. And, you know, the, the, the terms that Roger put it in there was exactly, you know, the way that it was, you know, put to the coaches, which is we're trying to take the idea that you use your helmet as a weapon out of the game. And the handful of coaches, you know, I talked to after the meeting, all said the same thing. That's the way we've been teaching it anyway. And, you know, now this just sort of drives the point home. Um, that there aren't going to be exceptions. Yeah, you know, our, I, I understand that. I get that part of what they're saying. But when I read the rule, which it says, it is a foul if a player lowers his head to initiate and make contact yeah. with his helmet against an opponent, the player may be disqualified. And this applies to any player anywhere on the field. I think we're talking about defensive players, but what about offensive players? Yeah, How does this affect I, them as well? I think this is a, a, you know, and I talked to Rich McKay, the competition committee chair about this. And I think that's, he admitted like, that the, the biggest challenge that they have here is going to be legislating, legislating offensive and defensive line play. And, you know, I, I think that they know uh, that there's no way that they're going to be able to take helmet to helmet contact in that area completely out of the game. Um, running backs is another one. You know, you uh, oftentimes you see the way running backs run, they almost naturally push their head into people, you know? So how do you, how do you officiate that? And I think that's part of the reason why um, they're going to work going forward on, on, on what's actually going to cause an ejection and what the language behind that's going to be. And they haven't come to a decision on that. That's something that my understanding, at least, is that they're going to have about 20 coaches to New York over the next three weeks to discuss it and try to come up with some language that they can present to the owners again in May, uh, at the May meeting. And, look, it's it's – I mean, it's not going to be easy, you know, and I think coming up with a definition of, you know, what would merit a, an ejection is going to be challenging. Right. But the bottom line is that, you know, they felt like based on the bad PR that they had last year, based on, you know, what happened with Ryan Chazier, they had to take some sort of action. And obviously this broadens the rule. Um, and there were rules in place that took those sorts of hits out of the game anyway, but this sort of broadens the rule. They believe that it'll clarify it to players. Um, and again, I think they're, you know, it may not be the best way to approach it, but I think their, their attitude is we're going to deal with the rest later. We need to deal with this now. Um, we'll handle this stuff with line play. We'll handle this stuff with, you know, running backs putting their head, head down. We'll deal with those things as they come. Uh, but we need to do something now to take that sort of hit out of the game. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.